Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Always and I welcome you to do another video of Java Central Training Series. So this video is going to be about unary operators, basically increment and decrement operators in Java. So we have increment operators. I'm going to write that in the comments. Let's say plus plus is an increment operator and minus minus is a decrement operator. Sorry. Yep. So we have two kinds of operator, but we can do that as a post increment and a pre increment. So let's say if I type X and I say plus plus, this is a post increment because we're incrementing the X value after the X value. Okay, so if I try plus plus first and X, that's a pre increment. So value will be incremented before that X, right? So to give you a quick example, I'm going to define int X, okay? is equal to one right i'm going to make x is equal to one and now i'm going to print it out to the console so s out for that and then i'm going to type x right so the value i'm going to get is one okay so let me increment it by one now so plus plus okay what value we're going to get we're going to get the value of one again the reason why because when it is uh, printing out to the console the value is been increased after that okay so give you an example i'm gonna do another s out and then let's print out the x so the next x value is going to be two because x the value of x is one right now and then it's incremented and then the next x we printing out is going to be two to uh, simplify that what is it basically let's say if you want to add a value to the x what do you do basically so you do x is equal to x plus one okay so s out x value so you're gonna get x value two let's see okay so to simplify we have a unary operators in java which can increment a value by one or decrement the value by one all right so let me give you another example of pre-increment so i'm going to define a few variables here so let's say num1 int num2 int num3 okay and down here i'm going to um, num1 is equal to 100 okay and num2 is equal to pre-incremented num1 okay at this stage we have the value of num1 is equal to 101 because it's been pre-incremented all right let me just uh, print it out to the console so num1 okay so let's see the result so we have the result 101 because it's been pre-incremented on this line okay all right so i'm going to get rid of this line now all right so right now if we print out num2 okay and then print it out the value of one num2 is 101 as well because that was incremented on this line so the next line says num1 is equal to num1 basically that's been that's uh expression the pre-increment has been applied to this line because it's a pre-increment right so we have the value of 101 for num2 and num1 all right so let me get rid of this statement first okay so now i'm going to use num3 this is going to be a bit complicated but i will explain that okay so now i'm going to use num2 okay post incremented and add this to pre-incremented num1 okay so let me explain to you guys okay so right now if you go to this line the num2 value is going to be 102 because let me just print it out to the console right so num2 value okay let's just see the result 102 because now on this line num1 is being pre-incremented by 102 so that value num2 is equal to 102 now so the num1 basically has been incremented twice okay so if i print out num3 here so can anyone guess what's going to be the result the result is going to be 203 why i will explain that in a second let's look at the result all right so it's kind of complicated but let me explain to you guys okay so right now 
the num1 value here the old value was 101 right and the new value changed to on this line okay the new value basically changed to um, 102 okay so here num2 is basically a post increment so it is using the old incremented value which which was 101 so if we print out let's say num2 because it's going to print out at a new value on this on this line okay so the result is going to be 203 and 102 okay so if you have any confusion here let me explain to you one more time so right now we have the value of 102 so num1 on this line basically is 102 okay because of this statement or expression right but because we are not incrementing any of the we're not incre pre-incrementing num2 it's a post increment so that is why the num2 is still using old value of 101 on this line okay so that is why we get the value of 203 let me just uh, print out all of them so let's change this to one two and then print out the next one as out and num3 okay so let's look at the result here so result is 203 okay if you are getting confused about why it's giving 102 and why it's adding only one digit and the result is 203 because because uh, we are basically adding pre-incrementing the num1 here on this line so when the compiler comes down here it reads this and change the value to 101 and here the num2 is equal to num1 so that's a 101 value there okay but the, when the compiler comes down to this line it says that num02 is post incremented it hasn't been incremented yet so the old value was num2 was 101 and it goes to the next operator plus add pre-incremented num1 so it jumps back to num1 so that's going to be incremented again so the num1 is going to change to 102 but when it comes down again it says oh it's been incremented again so num2 is equal to num1 that's why it changed that to 102 as well so when it comes down so it goes twice so that's a bit confusing but if you have any question uh, let me know in the comments below and you can follow me on twitter at the waste Mirza. so that was a quick example of pre-increment and post-incremented thanks for watching guys um, don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video in the next video i'm going to talk about switch statement in java all right cheers